Okay guys, welcome back to another video. Before we hop into how you can start a social media marketing in the best way possible, take a moment to appreciate my home office setup here in quarantine at my parents' house and my quarantine haircut. I know it's amazing and I'm very proud of it, so yeah, thanks. Um, but before we hop into that as well, okay, before we get into the actual details, we're gonna be hopping into my laptop going over the entire presentation, the free training of how you can start a successful social media marketing agency please take a minute to pound that like button and also hit the subscribe button if you're new, okay? Because I'm gonna be dropping videos almost every week in the realm of business, personal finance, and social media marketing, and how you can start making money online, okay? That is the ultimate goal here. So take a second to do that and let's hop into it. We're gonna jump into how you can start a social media marketing agency, okay? So I'm also gonna talk about how I've built a six-figure agency that brings incredible results for our clients, which results in my agency getting paid even more every single month. I'm also going to show you how I've signed my first five clients and how now we consistently sign two to five clients every single week, not talking about every single month. I'm talking about two to five clients every single week. I also want to dive into how all of this pretty much happens automatically. Okay. So I jump on sales calls with potential clients, but all of the work that they pay for and the service we provide gets done by my team and I never really have to lift a finger. Okay. So whether you are just starting out with your agency or let's say you're already freelancing or you've already got your first couple of clients, this is still going to be incredibly valuable for you. And there's a lot of questions that I'm going to pose to you that are going to help you get started or just help you accelerate your growth. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into this, okay? So before we hop into it, I just want to touch on a tiny bit about why you should essentially listen to me, me, the random person behind my laptop screen talking to you today, okay? So I have scaled my agency to a six-figure run rate in less than 90 days. This essentially means that within about 60 to 70 days, we took my agency from zero, zero revenue, to over a six figure run rate. So this means upwards of 10K per month in client retainers, okay? I'm also gonna touch on how basically I went from freelancing, where I was trading my time for money, to having now an agency business that runs without me. What I do now is I teach people how to start earning a side or a full-time income online without having to work 24 seven, okay? And the reason I do all of this, because I know there's going to be people asking, if you have an agency and it works so well, why are you now trying to teach people to do the exact same thing? Okay. Well, essentially the way I look at it is that I can do both. Okay. My agency and what we offer is very specific and there is not really anyone offering exactly what we offer to our clients. Okay. So our results are unparalleled and unmatched. And with that, there is essentially not a whole lot of competition that people can come in and join in on, okay? So now, enough about me, let's hop into what we are actually gonna to cover today, okay? So we're gonna talk about a few things today. Firstly, what is social media marketing? Secondly, who this is for? Thirdly, why agency life is way better than the freelance life? Fourthly, we're gonna look at three important questions that you need to answer before you start taking this seriously. And finally, the practical steps that you can take to actually get started. So what is social media marketing? So essentially, social media marketing is offering services to businesses, okay? And you're offering marketing services that normally are carried out within social media. Okay, so we're gonna run through a few examples here today and just kind of get your creative juices flowing around this. So you can kind of decide for yourself what you could potentially offer. So what this usually looks like is paid traffic, which is running Facebook ads or Google ads for businesses, social media management and growth services. So essentially managing, let's say a client's Instagram page, posting for them every single day and helping them actually grow and gain some followers. Email marketing and copywriting, this is essentially writing one very good emails that sell more products or services for the business or secondly copywriting can be rewriting a product page writing a landing page or writing an, even an info product okay sales 
This involves literally you picking up the phone and getting on a call with a potential prospect for a business, okay? Now, this is a very attractive one to businesses because you can do this on a commission basis, meaning that whenever you get on a sales call, they don't pay you unless you close the deal. And then lastly, SEO is a very popular service, okay? So this is search engine optimization and it's how you essentially get better ranking on Google and search engines, okay? So out of these, I have a lot of preferences, okay? I would not suggest going with SEO to start off with, but I would almost recommend social media management and growth because it's the easiest to get started with. Managing an Instagram page or a Facebook page is much easier than getting really good at copywriting or running Facebook ads. So now that we know what social media marketing actually is, who is this for? Okay, let's jump into that. So realistically, it's for almost anyone. Almost anybody can start social media marketing and actually see success very, very quickly. So you don't need to be a certain age to get started and it's not gonna impact you or hold you back if you are younger than other people offering the services. You don't need to register a business for this, okay? You can start off as an individual, as a one-man team or a one-woman team, and that is completely fine. Obviously, once you start getting a bit of revenue and income coming into your now business, then you wanna look at the legalities and actually register as an official individual or business trading. You don't need a whole lot of experience to get started. There are literally no startup costs or overheads. Yes, there are some softwares that you might wanna use, but most of which have free plans and you won't have to pay for them until you actually decide to. And the good news is that almost anyone who has a laptop and internet connection can get started. Okay, so you're gonna need a laptop. Yes, you can get by with having a phone because you can do a lot of services such as social media management on your phone, but there's little things such as sending invoices and getting on calls with clients that are gonna be 10 times easier if you have a laptop. So let's just assume you have all of that. So now, I get asked about freelancing all of the time. As someone who used to freelance for a long, long time, and you know, I did make money with freelancing. It's not that you won't make money with it, but I wanna just jump into why agency life is better than the freelancer life. So freelancing is amazing, okay? And it's a great way to start earning your first bit of money online. But it is by far not the best way. There are better ways to do it, and running an agency is one of those. So when you have an agency, you're not trading your time for money, okay? So when you're a freelancer, you usually get charged, or you charge your clients a flat rate per hour. So they might Let's say they charge, it could be 15 euro per hour, $20 per hour, could even be $50 per hour. The number is arbitrary here, but essentially you're trading your time for money. So if you wanna scale up, you've got two options. One, you work more hours, and you could already be working 10 or 12 hours a day. Secondly, you increase your prices. And both of those two are not that easy. They sound easy, oh, just work more. Yeah, but if you're working 10 or 12 hours, now you're trapped as an employee in your own business. And two, if you want to just always increase your prices, you're going to lose a lot of your old clientele. With an agency, you can build a team of people from all over the world that do all of the work for you. When you're a freelancer, you get paid to do work. When you're an agency owner, you get paid to coordinate a team that does the work for you. So we have people all over the world that do work for us, okay? And one amazing part of this is that we can pay them a very low rate compared to what we would pay someone in our home country. I'm based in Ireland, and if I was to pay someone in Ireland, I would have to pay them a premium compared to what we pay staff in other areas of the world because they're very, very skilled at what they do, and minimum wage is lower in their countries. So this is amazing. Right, And I just want to really dial in on this just for a second because on one level, it means we pay less money. We have less expenses because our team members are cheaper. Okay. Secondly, our team members are going to do better work because we're paying them a premium. So they're earning more than minimum wage in their country, meaning that the work they do for us is going to be premium, premium quality. And that's what we want. Now, also, when you have an agency, you want to run your business like a machine. Okay? And this is incredibly important because everything within your business should be looked at as a machine with parts 
with inputs, with outputs, and it should be viewed as a system. So this is amazing because it means that we can make this thing run like a machine where it doesn't need our involvement and things just happen. Clients get the work they paid for, we sign new clients and money keeps coming in. So now, before we go any further, there are three important questions that you need to answer before you start a social media marketing agency, okay? And even if you have started already, reevaluate these three questions and make sure you are crystal clear on your answers to each of these. So number one is what service should I offer? You'll notice here that I haven't said services and that's for a reason. Focus on one key service starting out when you get very good results with that service and you have a number of clients, then you can look at maybe offering more services. But to start off, pick one service. So you're gonna look at the things we already kind of talked about, Facebook ads, copywriting, social media management, and ultimately you're looking for something that fascinates you, that's easy to learn for you or your team members, and something that you think you're actually gonna be able to get results with, and something that you enjoy. That's incredibly important. Next, we're going to look at what type of clients do you actually want. So when we're looking at this, we're going to look in a few different areas. Firstly, we're going to look at the individual, right? Imagine a person standing in front of you and this is your perfect client, okay? Where are they from and where are they based? These are incredibly important. When we work with clients in the US, we know that they're going to be willing to pay us a lot more money than someone who is based in Ireland. Okay, so that is just the nature of that and that is something you want to look at. You don't want to look for clients who are based in Vietnam or Thailand because they're not going to have as much cash flow, stereotypically speaking, of course. Of course, certain business owners in those countries have huge amount of cash, but comparatively, when you look at people in the US or Canada or in the UK, they have more money to pay you. So we're going to look at that and you really want to consider that, but also then more importantly, where do they operate? What industry and what niche or niche are they in? Okay, so ultimately with this, you want to pick one segment of the market that you can get good results for. Similarly with part one, where we pick one service, we're going to pick one niche. Okay, so let's say you pick supplement companies and that's all you're going to focus on until you start getting results. Now, thirdly, we're going to look at the most important part of this piece. Okay, how do I actually convince business owners to pay me every single month. Not just pay me for one month or pay me for you know two months and then never talk to me again, but how do I get them to pay me every single month, okay? So literally this part here, we can break down into one, sourcing leads, so finding business owners who are potentially interested in what you have to offer. Secondly, doing outreach of actually talking to those business owners and how do you do that effectively? And then finally, sales. How do you actually get that prospect onto a call and how do you convince them of your value? How do you get them to pay you every single month? So with that in mind, here is how you can get started. Firstly, you're gonna pick a service. Then you're gonna pick a niche or a niche. And then finally, you're gonna master those three keys to agency success. How do you source leads? How do you outreach to them? And how do you actually close deals? Okay, so of course in this free training, we can't jump into like all of the semantics and the details of all of these key stages, but I have put together a guide that documents all of these fundamentals and how you can actually adapt the frameworks that I have used to use yourself. Okay, so this guide, is gonna give you huge value because it's gonna teach you how to find a service, the right service for you, how to find a niche and all the features that you should look at when looking at a niche, and then how to actually convince businesses to sign up with you. I'm also gonna give you templates that you can use for sourcing leads, for outreach and actually closing deals, okay? So right now you can get $10 off that with the code SAVE10. Okay, so the link is in the description. Check that out, have a look at it, and see if that is something you're going to get value for. I know it gives people huge amounts of value. I get messages all the time of my students closing new deals using the outreach strategies that I've got, using the message templates that I have, and actually closing new deals, bringing in more revenue and seeing incredible return on investment. 
So for this free training, that is all we're going to cover. Essentially, what we've done is we've looked at what social media marketing is, who it's for, why agency life is way better than freelancing, and the three important questions that you need to answer. Okay, so my advice to you is to take all of this, go back, rewatch this video, take notes, and answer all those questions that are posed to you. Okay, think about how you can get started and then get started. And with that, I wish you the best of luck. Reach out to me at any time if you feel like I can be of any service to you, and I will be happy to help you.